Breaking Bite Dance TikTok ban fallout leads to major concessions from China. Uh, the Bite Dance TikTok ban from the U.S. and India combined put China in a weak position. The Bike Dance TikTok ban timeline has set in motion major ripples across the world, primarily in the U.S. and India, as Chinese investors hope to cull what they can from the U.S. and similar bans in other countries, including India. And this is from the Huffington Post. TikTok's Chinese owner offers to forego stake to secure U.S. deal. And this is written by Echo Wang and Alexandria Alper on August 1st, 2020. China's ByteDance has agreed to divest the U.S. operations of TikTok completely in a bid to save a deal with the White House. After President Donald Trump said on Friday he had decided to ban the popular short video app two people familiar with the matter said on saturday u.s officials have said tiktok under its chinese parent poses a national risk because of the personal data it handles bite dance's concession will will test whether trump's trump's threat to ban tiktok is a negotiating tactic or whether he is intent on cracking down on the social media app that is up to 80 million daily active users in the United States. Trump. Oh, 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 oh. Heart bleed, heart, heart bleed. Trump told reporters on board Air Force One late on Friday that he would issue an... I'm sorry, that was rude. That was rude. That he would issue an order for TikTok to be banned in the United States as early as Saturday. Not, not the deal that you've been hearing about that they're going to buy and sell. We're, we're not an M&A, right. merger and acquisitions country. I don't know if he said that. If, I think he said that. Okay, great. We're not an M&A, mergers and acquisition country. I don't know what that means, but okay. So, well, well, folks, let's get to the, let's get to the heart of the nub. What we're looking at here is uh, bite dance TikTok a ban, and what does Google News tell us? Google News tells us, well, we have from Reuters, this is 20 hours ago, exclusive TikTok to challenge U.S. order banning transactions with the video app. CNBC from a week ago, Trump orders ByteDance to divest from its U.S. TikTok business within 90 days. That's old. Yes, you probably got that one. TechCrunch, one week ago, ByteDance in talk with India's reliance for investment in TikTok. 9 to 5 Mac, t- Trump signs new executive order giving Bike Dance 90 days to sell U.S. TikTok businesses. And then there's a few more, but we're going to go and we're going to go down uh, uh, a little bit of a, a trail here. And uh, we're, we're going to start here with exclusive TikTok to challenge U.S. order banning transactions with the video app. And this is from Echo. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Did I miscredit that last story? I think I did. Uh, no, please say I didn't do that. Huh. No, it's the same people. Oh, okay. So the same people. Oh, okay. Echo Wang. Okay. Echo Wang wrote this story that we're about ready to read here from Reuters. She also wrote, she was a, she was, she was a co-writer here and now she's a co-writer. Now that's interesting. I think Echo Wang bears some looking into, but uh, we're not going to worry about that uh, during this time. Let's just keep on going here. TikTok is preparing to mount a legal challenge as early as Monday to President Donald Trump's executive order prohibiting transactions with the popular short video app and its Chinese parent, ByteDance, according to people familiar with the, the, the case. So then we're going to go over here to TechCrunch. And TechCrunch, this is from August 12th, 2020. 
Oh, the last one I read, that was from today, or, well, the time that I'm recording this video. You're going to see this video on the 24th. So that was the 22nd, was the, uh, August 22nd was the, uh, the Reuters story, the, the TikTok challenge. So that's where we're at. That's the latest, but we're going to go back a little bit. And on, on August 12th, we have TechCrunch. Byte dance in talk with India's reliance for investment in TikTok. And that's Chinese giant Byte dance is engaging in early discussions with Reliance Industries Limited for backing TikTok's business in India. A move to potentially save the popular video app's fate in its biggest market by users to people familiar with the matter. Told. TechCrunch. TikTok has been banned in India since June 29th. And then we're going to go forward to, let's just do this search, China-India ban. And uh, we are going to see in China-India ban, we got Indian app soars after ban on China's TikTok, WeChat, and Baidu. From, that was from Nikkei Asian Review. Slate Magazine, what Indians lost when their government banned TikTok. CNN, India is blocking more apps in the wake of TikTok ban. Znet, India bans 59 Chinese apps. And then we're going to go forward to Indian app soar after ban on Chine China's TikTok, WeChat, and Baidu. This is Nikkei Asian Review. This is uh, Kiran Sharma, Nikkei staff writer who wrote this on August 4th, 2020. Just to give you the backdrop of, of what what people are dealing with after june's deadly border clash in ladakh the india is waging an economic war on china with bans on almost everything from popular mobile apps to tenders on public projects bike dances tiktok 10 senses wechat alibaba's browser and baidu map were among 59 chinese apps banned by the indian government in late june remember india is his own one point plus billions of people so they're a huge emerging market in and of themselves they're just as tasty a, 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 a delight for, for, for foreign quote unquote investors as China is Ravi Shankar Prasad India's information technology minister called, minister called it a digital strike at a recent political rally another 47 apps that are clones of those that are already banned were blocked in late July amid reports that over 250 more were on the chopping block, including Tencent-backed online multiplayer battle royale game PUBG Mobile and video sharing app Zili from smartphone maker Zia Moy. Zia Moy. So there's a little bit of a taste of that. You can scroll down here just a little bit. And you can see that it doesn't really... Nothing. I got you to the good side. I'm taking care of you, kids. You know, I take care of you guys. I take care of you. We're going to August 22nd now. This is from t t today, just so we understand. Just to give you a little background, this is August 22nd now. Anti-China sentiment seeps into Indian festivals. Ganesh Chatur serves as boon to Made in India products. And this is from Times N TimesNowNews.com. On the call, and this is, it says it's for itself, on the call, uh, the key highlights, on the call of Confederation of All India Trades for Boycott Chinese Goods and Encouragement to Usage of Indian Goods, which has recently received a widespread support from across country, made from across country, made special idols of Lord Ganesha. Instead of large idols, this year people prefer small idols, which led the Kaiti to make idols of sizes 6, 9, and 12 inches, and for that trade association across country engages local artisans. That's right. So they chose to pick things that their locals were able to produce over what the large, well, the Chinese were able to produce in, in the form of these large statues that they had used in the past. Every year, about 30 crore Kron or Kror idols of Lord Ganesh are purchased across country. And I think that's a, 
that's probably that's a colloquialism across country so it means that's what they say across like we would say across the country they think they just say across country i think that's what that is as per an estimate china used to make export of ganesh idols to the extent of about our ours 500 crores every year now i don't know what what any of that that and then and i I only have so much time to do things, so uh, I'll leave that for another time. And it's not sp particularly super relative to the story right now, but in general, let's uh, let, well, let's just uh, let's just uh, let's just get to my little uh, well, where where I'd like to take us, which is to think about uh, the dynamic that's at play here in terms of TikTok. Yeah as an app that is being run with a significant and I believe majority ownership and even if it's not majority trust me you don't do business it, see this is the thing this is the rub I'm, I'm going to take a cup of, a sip of coffee just to make sure that I'm level headed so I don't do anything or say anything that would get my mom to smack me in the mouth It's better. So this is the rub when it comes to the China deal is this. Every nation state is coercive by its very nature. Every nation state seeks to do things, uh, I guess you could say, underhanded. And coercive, fraud, whatever. If they have to use, if people got to die, people got to die. People got to die in order for your nation state to even just sustain the level that it has. It ultimately has to kill people both outside and inside people have to die in order to sustain nation states it's just the law of the nation state jungle so to speak so i don't i don't want to come across as being moralistic when i talk about what what china is in relation to most of the world right now real or imagined the perception and i believe the perception is actually pretty justified china has been able to, under the radar, I'm, I'll just say at the very least, significantly influence the cultures of many of the nation states around them, including the United States of America, including Great Britain, including Canada, and, I, and, I, and, and a lot of it is... Uh, what they've been able to do, how they've been able to influence whatever. I mean, for the DNC, for instance, their their attachment to this particular brand of quote unquote social justice, it it has some. That's that's a whole story in and of itself, and I am working on on stuff that hopefully you'll see on this channel that'll that'll give you more flesh to the bone of what I'm offering right now, but uh, that. Uh, that this particular direction that this particular flavor of social justice has taken is remarkably similar to a lot of the things that are coming out of, of China right now in terms of their ideational justifications for their use of coercion, which at this point the social justice paradigm is being used now as not just a thought, an idea, a suggestion, but it's now it's being used as justification for very coercive action to be taken against vast swaths of human beings. So now the, now the discussion's getting real at this point because now the blood and bone are starting to, 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 to pile up, so to speak. And there is a lot to be said about the connection between a nation state like China that fights the way that it fights and... And as of the last year, even before the coronavirus, there were things that were going on that other nation states were beginning to question. And I'm not blaming China for doing anything that it does in, in terms of nation states versus nation states. Now, as a member of this nation state, I am nowhere near favoring China. I'm 100% on the side of the, of, of the nation state United States because I live in and poop here so the living pooping world is my world it, but uh still i don't i don't i don't attach my attachment to the pragmatic pragmatically alone 
uh, but I have other reasons to be connected here. Uh, but pragmatically alone to the people of this land, the United States of America, under this nation-state construct, such as it is, that uh, I favor that and I defend that over over the Chinese nation-state. But I just, I'm just not going to transfer that pragmatic decision over to hating China as a nation, not as a nation state, but as a nation and Chinese, the Chi China as a people. So uh, I still can look at the Chinese nation state pragmatically and tell you that it is openly in violation of, and it's been given a pass for a very long time because it's been given special development nation state status. And it, just having that stuff come to an end is going to put China in a significant bind. And there's a lot of folks over here in America, a lot of na of, of their, their own like their own they're almost their own little little their their para states, these these corporations. Are, are you, I've been calling them corporate states, but I think it's, but I don't know. That's too generic. I, I think I I like calling them para states. Google, well, Alphabet, whatever, Facebook, uh, Amazon. Uh, these uh, Disney, these these uh, all of these megalithic, uh, whether it's oil or media or whatever it is, these these megalithic corporations that that have the, especially the ones that uh, do not rely significantly anymore on the American market for its source of revenue. Those companies, the largest companies, so, and those are certainly companies like Google and Facebook and these other companies, they make they make tons and tons of money outside of America. America, it, it, they don't have to cater to American audiences. So when you look at those type of uh, entities with the, the amount of power that they have, to push the levers of human thought towards this or that assumed ideational construct of, of the good human. I mean, you start to understand <laughs> like just how at risk so many of us are right now, even outside of whatever where China can do. We've, we've got our own internal concerns. Never mind allowing and continuing to allow a nation state like China that is, it is, is, what what the United States of America may do covertly, that's bad enough. Trust me, there is there is significant differences in experiencing the range of uh, for 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 the humans to experience the range of of liberty of freedom, being able to act and not not getting uh, somebody breaking down your door at three a.m. and taking you down to ask you why did you talk about uncle in a bad way and uncle refers to the local police officer you we don't live in that world there are some people that that may happen to somewhat in secret but trust me in china that's it's it's a whole lot different world when the nation state has has the justification to do such things right out there in the open and that's 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 a nation state that you do not want it's bad enough what we're dealing with at home is basically my my underlying point. We have we have we have these parastates within that are making decisions that we would never allow governments to make, but yet they have the de facto power of governments. So we have them to worry about as it is. The least thing we need is 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 China's uh, TikTok. It's a chi really the Chinese state at all because because in China if you are a company of any means and note and you still live in China, you are part of the CCP. And trust me, you don't want to be in bed with the CCP unless you, you cannot be in bed with the CCP and preach social justice at home. You just cannot do it. You, you must, you must get rid of the one or the other, either get rid of your social justice and embrace your little Chinese, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, they're, they're borderline fascism at the very least. So the Chinese state is a borderline fascistic state, and they're definitely nationalistic. So, they're they're easy to be called. Uh, you could easily call them a, a fascistic state. It's not too much of a stretch, but at the very least, they're borderline fascistic state. You don't want that entangled in your in your in your in your media, in your politics, in your in your games, and you just don't want that. You don't want those standards to be imposed upon human beings that have expectations of free expression far beyond what China, China would allow, or for that matter, what the version of social justice DNC would allow. So 
with that note, I think that uh, we're going to uh, bring this to an end. I want to make sure that we don't get under over the 20 minute mark. And so we're going to end it right here. Thank you for joining us. This has been Breaking ByteDance TikTok Band Fallout leads to major concessions from China. <laughs>